Ah, uh, pet the doggy. Doggy. He's a doggy. Who's a good doggy? How oh, is you? Oh my god. Oh, woo. Okay. My favorite is the Mechanicus, right? Oh, this one, this one. Kill Protocol. Kill Protocol is my favorite episode. He's French shape, dude. The the big guy is French shape. I love him. He's like Baymax. But uh, oh, you don't see most of it, huh? But you know what I mean. This guy, I love this guy. This guy, I love this guy. Good episode. Best episode. <laughs> Mechanicus characters and novels are awesome. Currently listening to Belisarius call novel is fun. Yellow broccoli. <laughs> it's my hand. I could have yarn. Yes. What a stream, I man. It's amazing, right? Okay. So this one is my favorite episode. I remember when we started watching it. The first episode was kind of weird. I I really like the art style of the series. I mean, even from the very beginning of the series, I love the art style already. It's like a comic, but also the first episode, the the scenes where they're like shooting each other and the, the action scenes, right? Was it about the the sexy lady? Was it the sexy lady? Is it is it the first episode with the sexy lady? Let me think. Where are the episodes? Where is it? Artifacts. That's not the first episode. Sexy lady. That's hand. There we go. About the Inquisitor guy. And there's a sexy lady. And the action part was kind of lacking. You know what I mean? Actually, don't know if this one is uh, copyright free, so maybe no music for now. I know the Mechanicus OST is copyright free, but I, I don't know about this one. Okay, sorry, no music. So, for the first episode, Death's Hand, the action part where they were like pew pew pew, and there's a lady and, and she's like pew pew pew. No, she didn't pew pew actually. The other people pew pew, but. B but she's like there to kill somebody and she's like i'm not here to kill you <laughs> right you know the you know the one you know the one if you've seen this it needs more it needs more pow pow because after watching like fan animation of warhammer this one it needs more action it needs more polish the first episode i feel like they should put the first episode they should have a better first episode like, they shouldn't make this one the first episode. I don't know, just me. Known spear should be fine. Oh, I already closed the, uh, the window. It needs more pow pow. You know what I mean? Needs more pow pow. First episode. Very nice art style, though. I love it. Episode 2. Bound for greatness. This one's creepy. This is too real, man. Wait, somebody commented on my video that they like this episode the best. The cult one. This is the cult one, right? Are they referring to the cult episode as the second episode or is it something else? Maybe it is the second episode. It's too real, dude. Because the speakers, the guy on the speakers, like, no thinking, no talking. Your job is to count, blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. No counting, no talking. And I mean, no thinking, no talking. This one? It's like real life, you know? When you're at work. 
<laughs> your boss expect you not to think and talk this work. Just do your work, dude. What are you thinking, huh? Stop thinking. <laughs> Probably referring to the one with jean stealers. Oh, is that the one? The pants stealers. New life. So this one, second episode. Hmm. It's very creepy. Quite creepy. Because the book calls to him. It's like, oh, touch me. Touch the book. Oh, read the book. Good episode. Oh, very creepy. Also, there was a scene there when the guy... Who's the guy? I don't know who's the guy. Is the, the priest goes up go, goes up to this guy to pick up the books, right? And, they, and he was like, are the books ready? And there's a scene there that the books look like pizza boxes. So you can think of it as a pizza factory. I can think of it as a pizza factory. It makes me feel better to think of it as pizza factory. Pizza factory. So the people who count the pizza, <laughs> they become part of the pizza. <laughs> and the people will consume them. Ah, oh no. What's thinking? As someone who works in the factory, the work itself kills all desire to think. Oh. Yeah, this one. Also a good one. First episode, it's kind of underwhelming. Old Bale. Who's this? Oh, Bale! The, the orc episode. This one's really fun. The action part for this one is really good. The music as well? Dude. The, the music got better in the third episode. Also, the editing and the composition for this episode is really good. I love it. I love the orc episode. Bailey. Good one. It's a good one. The music in the... I don't know what to call that music. Like metal music? Rock, rock music? Oh, it's really good. This one? There's also squeaks. I remember that one. There's squeak on it. Squeaky. What? They didn't show the, the orcs on these photos. Why you only show the guy? Oh, there you go, the, the orcs. This one is a good episode. Very nice uh, music. Very cool. Very nice editing. I love it. This one, really good. But it's not my favorite. Because my favorite is the, the friend. The friend episode, Kill Protocol. Best boy, Yarik. Yarik chan! Commissar Yarik is the goat. He was given a lush planet to refer to retire to, and he says no. <laughs> Not some guy. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> this Yarik. Oh, sorry. I'm my bad. Sheesh. I'm sorry, officer. This guy. I I cannot stop thinking about him as this guy, okay? He's quite cool. Very badass. Does he want to retire? Hmm. Good episode. Good enemies are hard to find. Ah. Good enemies are hard to find. Next one, Fangs. Oh, this one's funny. I love it. This is so funny. Well, there's only one scene that was so funny when one of them passed the passed the test and he awood. Okay, so 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 the second one, the first one, um, chose to fight a bat, right, a big bat, and he kind of got schmeckled right away. Second one fought a. What did the second one fight? Oh, no, I forgot. I don't even remember what he fought. The third one fought the bear, right? The second one fought the... Uh... <sighs> what did he fight? A wolf? He he fought a wolf, right? And then he... Second one died to two bears. What? The third one was the one who died to the bears, dude. It's the third one who died to the bears. This, and then they go back to the second one. Because on the third one, they're like, oh, nobody passed the test, right? 
and the, and the guy was like not tonight not tonight so the one who are wood fought a wolf it's uh, quite funny when he are wood <laughs> he got out of the ice and he was like oh good one this is a good episode because of that owl alone if you die your second <laughs> he lives up by the count he's first all right all right the winner a wood at the end dude if you haven't seen this episode you're gonna like the awu part. These old people, I don't know who they are. I I think they have one aspirant each. And they're like talking about what's happening. Something like that. I don't know. I don't even know how they know what's happening. They don't have a camera here. They don't have a TV. How do they know? Okay, that's also a good episode. So so far, good episodes: the old bale Isle, old bale eye, bound for greatness. Fangs is also good, but it's not that great. I just like the whole part. The council of smarters may is <laughs> They all share one brain cell. They they all share one brain cell. It's the only brain cell in the whole space wolves faction. <laughs> oh no. They didn't know that was the game. Ah, that was the game. Question of faith. Oh, this one's also pretty good. Or is it? Hmm, it's alright. It's kind of strange. Because I didn't understand what happened to her. Like, she got possessed at the end, and he... And she... Uh, emanated a lot of, like, light from her. I don't know if she was the saint, or maybe the saint possessed her. I don't know. Something happened. Gotta have a little faith, sister. In the Garden of Ghosts. Oh, this one's kind of weird. This guy lost it. He got uh, swallowed by the past. I thought he was not gonna make it in the end. And, they, and then she put the the souls. Is it the soul soul stone? She put the he put the soul stones in a robot. I don't know if that's a good thing, necessarily. Like imagine if you died and somebody put your soul in a robot. Do you want to be a robot when you die? I don't know. <laughs> I love seeing your Darius Slaughter. Jeez. Next one. Kill Protocol. Oh, my favorite. This is the reason why I'm discussing this. Because this is my favorite one. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. Oh, I love this episode. Everything about this is amazing. It's very... Oh, it, the friendship is real. Friendship is real, guys. They're friends. They don't, they may not have feelings, but they're friends. I know it in their heart. They have a heart. They have feelings. This, this one cares for the big guy. Yes. I love it. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. This is the best episode ever. <laughs> what is correct is sacred. They were looking for the thing, right? I don't know what they're looking for. Artifacts? They're looking for something that's so really good for the mechanicals for the machines and then they found it but uh, but she's like oh but the, but the big robot is injured so she put the uh, the thingy on the robot and the robot was fine in the end i spoiled everything <laughs> i spoiled the story i mean i assume you already watched it you you guys are the warhammer uh, the warhammers you know this i love it because she's like she found it but she chose to revive the friend and the, and she's like it's gonna be fine she she was gaslighting herself saying that it's gonna be fine they're gonna find more <laughs> uh, 
I've been enjoying your videos. Glad to make it to the stream. Hello, Malaykai. How are you doing? Because feelings, it's very bad at being a tech priest. Dude, the way the the the, the way she talked was, she's very like robot like. The 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 way she talked was kind of a robot robot like, like an AI. But when you look closely of what she's talking about, she has feelings. She has feelings. You you cannot deny it. They uh, they are friends. Though it's the friend episode, I love it. It's beautiful. Don't you love friendship, bro? Come on, I love friendship. <laughs> I love the part where they saw a soldier. And uh, she said the war is won on the planet, but also she just um, harvested his his um his arm. That's a good one. <laughs> he thought he was gonna be safe, and she's like, "Nah, I mean, just we're just gonna harvest your arm. Thank you for the arm." She she does everything for the for the robot. See, there's feelings there. There's feelings there, dude. She was never gonna make it out of there without her robot guard. Imagine letting the orcs get that. Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. She she keeps saying that um she's not gonna make it alone. She she can't make it without the robot. I also like that part where she used the hammer. What do you call it? The hammer and axe? The thing she's holding. The bonking stick. Because they were surrounded at one point, and the robot was damaged. She she has a gun, but it like it malfunctioned, so she has to bring out the the bonking stick, and it's like bonk. Oh, that, that was beautiful. The bonk part is beautiful. I love it. Good episode. Best episode. It's an axe. Yes, it's an axe. The bonking axe. <laughs> you know the one. You know the one. This one, best episode. Oh, it's top rated as well. Let's go. People also like this. Yes, I am. Uh, I feel good. I feel vindicated that people also like this. I love it. I love it. It's great. I need more. Uh, I need more Mechanicus anime. Give me more Mechanicus. I need it. They need to make a series that's just mechanicals. <laughs> okay. Next one. Do we need to talk about the next ones? We already talked about the best one. I don't want to talk about the others. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Hideous Dance. This one's pretty good as well. This is this is very close to reality. This is too real, man. It's just so depressing, this one. Actual 40k anime would be awesome, right? This one's a depressing one. Oh! The, about the messenger. Mm. The tyrannids, they are crazy! Oh my god, they're gonna eat everything. They ate everything. Ooh! That's all I can say about Kidia's dance. <laughs> Kidia stands, yes. The, it's, it's it's so depressing, dude. I, I don't usually watch like military related movies or mili military re related um series. Military movies and military series makes me really depressed. Cause it's too real, and I'm like, oh god, oh, this is too real, man. Oh. Also, it's about people they're just ordinary people and they're fighting the tyrannies oh it's so depressing it's hopeless ah it's hopeless mm. they want to nom nom the universe yes wait um in the 40k are they still fighting this war or is it over 
this scene in Cadia, is it just ongoing? Ongoing until now? In terms of the lore? I love the Astro Militarum for being regular people against the unknown horrors of the galaxy. Yeah, that, that's the that's beautiful and also depressing. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. It, this is like relatable. It, this is very mm, grounded because we are people, and uh, you know, you relate to people. Why doesn't them? They're still standing. Remnants of the High Fleet Leviathan are still an issue. That was in Cadia. Huh? This one? Cadia stands? The planet broke before Guard did. High Fleet Kraken. I don't know what you're talking about. These words don't mean anything to me because I don't know much about the lore. The, plane, the planet Kedia is gone. Oh my god. Oh. Well. That's why they said Kedia is everywhere now. <laughs> oh, they're coping. Oh. They were coping. Oh. I see. Kidia is already broken, but the guard's still fighting. Aww. That's depressing as fuck. This is why I like the... the mechanicals episode. Cause this one, it made me sad. This one made me happy. Because I like them both. There are different hype fleets of Terranids, and it's just the first wave of the hype mind. Oh my god. Artifacts. Oh, this one's funny. Oh, wait, is it the one? Black region, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is the one. It's the funny one. With the guy. Oh, is it? I don't remember. What are they doing here again? Hmm, let me see. Let me read what it says. To track down a Xenos artifact by Abaddon the Despoiler. However, their price lies in the depths of vast space hawk and they are not alone seeking it. They're looking for something. Oh god, I don't remember this episode. The guy with the asthma. <laughs> it's the guy with the asthma. <laughs> when he talks, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's the asthma. The guy with the asthma. He's, he's like the pilot of the ship and was like... <laughs> oh no. It's the one. It's the one. Oh no. <laughs> The guy with the asthma, that's true. <laughs> oh, this is the episode with the collector. Uh, Trazin, the Mr. Stoller girl. Yeah, it's the one with the collector. They were looking for something. And the, and the Necron was like, Oh, I will tell you the, the secret power, blah, blah, blah. And they went there, and uh, they fought a bunch of uh, Dark Eldar. And uh, Necron was like, haha, I'm still here. And I like collecting stuff. Oh yeah, it's this episode, right, right, it's this one. I almost forgot about this. I do remember the asthma guy, though. <laughs> the asthmatic pilot. <laughs> that was funny. It's so dumb. <laughs> Have you ever noticed some episodes the animation is kind of lacking? Yeah, I have. Especially the first one. Right from the very beginning, episode, the animation for the first episode is is quite lacking. Because for now, right? So far, what I notice, 
the have okay what i notice have the good um animation is like for example old bale eye this has good animation and the kill protocol has good animation artifacts it's all right yeah it's pretty good as well plague song also good animation but like for example this one the elder episode question of fate first episode some scenes are like hmm, they're kind of questionable it's like they didn't polish them enough because i don't feel the action sometimes also for fans this is a good episode okay but sometimes i feel like they need more time to work on it because for example if you watch episode 3 and compare it to episode 4 the it's called compositing if you know what compositing is compositing is like um after everything is animated and they have to bring the scene together right so all the animation is done the background is done compositing they add lighting they add um effects to it to make it more juicy right i feel like some episodes lack a bit of compositing it's so true for the first episode it's like you gotta add a little bit more to it also for the fangs episode they have to add a little bit more to it because the background and the setting is clearly um snow area and there's like a there's like snow effects everywhere right and sometimes you don't really feel that i don't know or like sometimes you get get taken away from the immersion because for example in the second episode right the books you know exactly which book he's gonna touch because you know in animation when you watch old animation especially like uh, traditional animation you know which object is gonna move because the rendering for the background is different for the rendering for the object that is gonna move it's like so clear like there's an outline on it that oh this one's gonna move for sure this object this is gonna move the other ones they're part of the background it's so clear here but there's a way to like you can polish that in compositing or maybe you could polish that in let me see even before compositing like during the animation stage or like during the coloring stage there's a way to polish it so that it's not like taking away your immersion from from the show if you know where if you know understand what i'm talking about if you understand i cannot speak if you know what i'm talking about you you know this you know it you can feel it To the animation expensive, I know. It is very expensive. Pumping out as much as it can, as quickly as it can, and will gladly dumb it down to flash animation style, so to do it if it means getting the cash. Dude, I don't think it's the budget that's the question here. Because I've worked in animation before. These people are given tight deadlines for sure. They, they are given tight deadlines. I know they can do really great things because some of the episodes are better than the others. That means, like, they, they could really make it good. They could make the episode good. It's just that they had little time to do it. Just throw a big red circle around the thing that's about to move. <laughs> Both of you to assume that GW cares. Probably they don't, I, but I know the animation department cares. I know the animators care. Because I've been in the industry. I've been in animation industry. The animators care a lot about the work. They care about um, doing good things. They care about making great animation. It's just that sometimes it's the company that says, well, you don't have time. You, you got to do it now. I know the animators want to do their best. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, at least it's not like um, a storyboard. It's just, it's not like... I mean... Uh, anyway. How much you think each episode costs? It, it's a lot of money. I don't actually know. I, I didn't work in... I didn't animate. I did um, layout when I was in the animation industry. 
but like animators are paid per second per second per scene so you have to pay animators for the the characters it's only for the characters and only for the things that move like for the background the things that will move you gotta pay for that and for the props so they have to move that right per second per per scene and then the layout department does like the background and the camera so there's that there's two two departments already right and then you need the the compositing as well and you also need people who storyboard way before everything is made you you need people to storyboard this and there's like supervisors there's directors there's a lot of people involved in just one episode and people who made the characters people who made the character sheets people who made um like the reference for the background reference for everything so it's a lot of money i, I don't know how much is each episode is gonna cost And I don't even know if they're actually compensated right. Who knows? We don't know. I don't know. I didn't work there. <laughs> I just had a glimpse of the industry. <laughs> I just know how like the pipeline kind of works. Plague song. Oh, Bebe Nurgle. This one is weird. I was nervous, like, what if I dream about Bebe Nargo? <laughs> that was scary. No, well, oh, oh, Bebe Nargo is not here yet in this frame. Let me see. Um, what do you call that? Plague song. Legs. Uh... Oh, it's so creepy. This one. Oh, dude. I wish the animators got paid a lot for this one. Because the transformation sequence, that's gonna take a lot of work. When they morbed, they were transforming into this. This uh, thing. Dude. I hope they got paid a lot of money for for drawing this. So this is difficult. It's difficult to do. Also, the background. There's a lot of stuff in the background that also moves. Hmm. Where's the baby go? Oh, there it is. This one. <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> Nurglings. Yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I really thought I was gonna dream about this episode. Jeez. So weird. This episode is so weird. It's really disgusting. Good episode though. It's just disgusting and weird. <laughs> so snuggling, yeah. This is so snuggling over there. Oh, this scene right here. When he touched the the person, and it became like uh, fungus, <laughs> it became a bunch of fungus and mushroom. That one, that's a beautiful scene. It's disgusting, but it's beautiful. Uh, that's good animation right there. I like it. That one's good. <laughs> Baby Nargle whispering on your ear. Oh shit, look at him. Look at that thing, dude. Nugglings are cute. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Jesse. Thank you, thank you. Pepe Nargle. <laughs> Do they have a plushie of this? Dude, they, they should make a plushie of Nargle's. Don't you want to have a plushie next to your bed? On your bed when you sleep? That's like good merch idea right there. Nurgling plushy see look at that look at it look at it <laughs> oh, that's cute oh this one is cute it, it has a it has a helmet why is it pink though it looks naked 
It looks more naked when it's pink. It's so cute. Oh, look at it. Oh. They have scent candles. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Scent candles. Imagine. I don't need the nurgling scent candle, though. I just go to the sewers. This one's buff, though. Look at those. Look at those specs. Hmm. Nurgle plushie that will inevitably rot is actually thematically accurate. Huh? After the Hammer and Border release, they released the Orc song. Here we go. Plus the animation is good. Here we go! Yeah, baby Nurgle. What the, this one is so sassy. What the fuck? I love it. Oh, it's, a, it's on uh, Warhammer Reddit. Dude, he's so sassy. Look at him. <laughs> you don't have to watch it. Yeah, you don't have to watch it. He's a sassy nurgler right here. Nurgling. He's so cute. He needs more chunk though. I feel like he needs more chunk on this area right here. But otherwise, he's beautiful. He has cheese on him. Those are cheese. Don't worry about it. Don't question it. It's cheese. <laughs> Nurgling plushie. Oh, these ones are cute as well. What the fuck? Why is this goblin cute? Wait, it's not a goblin. This... I don't know what you call this thing. Grocks? Oh, you don't see it. <laughs> it look, look like a goblin. What is this? Oh, this is the squig. And this is the... The doggy. I don't know. Nurgle. Nurgling. It's a, basically a goblin. The fact that Nurgle is better father than the emperors behind me. <laughs> Look at him, dude. This, this is so cute. Baby Nurgle. It has a... It has spaghetti. It ate spaghetti recently. Oh, that's cute. I love it. It ate spaghetti. That's a good one. That's a good, good plushie. Okay. What were we talking about? Talking about hammer and bolt. Alright. Take some. Disgusting episode. Beautiful. I love it. Double or nothing. This one's weird. <laughs> the guy... The guy. You know the guy. Um, With the warrior who can best their chieftain. The guy. and th That guy was weird. What's this episode about? Um, the fantasy within Warhammer, because they were talking about Sigmar and stuff. Hamilcar, there you go, Hamilcar. Stop. It's about Hamilcar, and they're betting on the guy to go into the orc encampment to defeat the chieftain. It's about Gamba, actually. It's the Gamba episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but it's weird. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sigmar! It was about Sigmar. Dude, the whole time we were watching this episode, I really thought they were saying Sigma. The God Sigma. It's like, huh? Sigma? They called the God Sigma, alright? <laughs> like Sigma Grind? <laughs> That's a weird uh, choice of uh, name. But okay. Sigmar. Hmm. Can't spell Sigmar without Sigma, I guess. Alright. Hmm. Not my favorite, though. The brain rot. Monsters. This is also in the same universe, right? Ligma? <laughs> Ligma balls? Uh oh. Th these two are in the same universe, right? These two. It was weird as well. It has that um, elk monster. We call the elk monster again. Um, a schmeckle. I don't know what you call it. 
You know the one. What in the name of Skibidi Sigma? <laughs> in Warhammer Fantasy series, orcs are more honorable if you challenge their champion, they must abide. Ah, that's why in this one, they didn't outright kill him when they when he entered the encampment. Hmm. Monsters. This episode is kind of anticlimactic for me. Because I really thought there, there was going to be a huge puffle between them and the enemies. Because they were talking about like a lot of enemies. The city dwellers or something. I really thought there's going to be more scuffle. More fighting. But uh, I guess not. It's called an incarnate elemental of beast. Incarnate elemental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, that guy. Kaidor Drogo Drago so OP he switch universe from 40k to Sigmar. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, next one. New life. This one's creepy, dude. It's a good one, but it's also creepy. Because you were rooting for them to to ride the ship, right? You were rooting for them to escape in the beginning. And then they do like the haha moment of the air. It's like, no, no, oh no, oh no. Because I was rooting for them to go through and, uh, and ride the ship. And then a lot of things happen. And then, oh no, it's so sad. The jeans stealers, they stole your jeans. Mm. The jeans stealers, yes. If you're not looking, they're gonna steal your pants. They're gonna steal everything. Good episode, though. I like it. Next one, Undercity. Uh, series of disappearances. Oh, this is the vampire episode. Yes. Oh yeah, it is. This guy looks like. Uh, he has the same hat as like in Bloodborne. Looks like a Bloodborne character. He has that hat in that coat, you know? It's the vampire episode. See that hat? Oh, it needs to be pointier though. It needs to be pointier. I like this guy. This guy is funny. <laughs> he keeps saying he hates this man. He's like, I hate you. But he actually loves him. Because he keeps going to the with him to do stuff, to do missions. He's like, I hate you. I want to finish this beer first. But he still goes anyway. He's a Sundere. This one, Sundere. <laughs> this guy is a Sundere. Classic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 16th century dip. One thing that bothers me in New Life episode, Gene Stealer should look at Tyranids as angels, not bugs. Oh. Angels. I don't know. Eternal. Dude, Undercity, I really thought... Uh, they're gonna show the the sewer fat that people eat. Or, or is this still um is this still like it's not Warhammer? Is it is it still the fantasy part? I'm not sure. Mm. Lucius. Oh Lucius, this one's funny one. Lucius the petty. Lucius the Petty. Eternal. Lucius the Pink. He has a pink armor. <laughs> oh god, he's so petty. I love it. It's amazing. He has feelings. I like it when he says this affected me. You know, you know that part when he found the the little demon chan. Is it a demon? I don't know. 
So when he finally found the demon and he was talking about his feelings, he was like, Oh, you said bad words to me. It affected me. Uh, that was funny. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, the grudge is real. Oh, shit. Oh, this guy has two heads. Oh, not just one hand. These ones are not his hands. Okay. No sewer fat? It was fantasy. I told you common people live in better in fantasy. All oh, right, I forgot about that. How? I, I was uh, kind of hoping they would show the sewer fat. <laughs> Lucius Mini is so bad. <laughs> it's funny because he's... This guy is funny. I, I don't know about the episode as a whole if it's good or not. It's just funny because he's so petty. It's kind of weird as well. It's a weird episode for sure. I actually don't know. You know what? I'm kind of questioning if this is actually flash animation. I feel like this is not flash animation. I feel like it's 3D. They made it to look like 2D. Because in this episode it's in this episode it's kinda of obvious that they, they are 3D. The rendering is 2D, but the characters are definitely 3D. I don't know, man. They look 3D. I don't think it's flash animation. Not a demon regular Slanesh Marine. No, I was talking about the guy who was captured. The, the guy that was being interrogated. Children Legionnaire. Oh, Legionnaire. Oh, I said Legionnaire. Alright. Lucius the Eternal sets out to silence him before he reveals the secrets of the ch third chapter. Lucius. So... Oh, pink. Dude, he has the uh, tubes on his nipples. Mm, the nipple tubes. Those are all the previous individuals who killed him and he takes possession of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also move when he, when he talks. It's kind of disgusting. Okay. What else did we watch? We also watch um mm, what did we watch after this? Iron Within This one. This one's really good. This one, the animation is uh, quite good. I love it. Did the guy who made the Astartes uh, worked on this? This one's really good. Oh, look at that. The atmosphere. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, dude. It's beautiful. Iron Within and Pariah Nexus. I like the one with Trison the Troll, <laughs> the collector. This one's a good one. The ending is also beautiful. Is it beautiful? Huh? It's, it's kind of morbid. <laughs> I mean, everything in this episode is kind of morbid. <laughs> oh my god. But, but I'm glad that uh, the lady made it in the end. Hmm. What a nice animation. I love it. Pariah Nexus. Oh yeah, we also watched that one. Oh, it's 2023 as well. This one is 2023 and this one is also 2023. That's nice. Iron within, iron without. We're, we're gonna watch the Mechanicus Lore in a bit. I just wanna talk about this. Because it's... Uh, because I might forget about them if I don't talk about them, you know? Mm. 
<laughs> this one's interesting. Because she was alone the whole time. So weird because she was talking to somebody. She just lost it. She lost faith. Oh, shit. Sister, why are you losing faith? Stop it. Hmm. That's a good one. Also, I like the 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 the, the, the scene where the salamander introduced himself. <laughs> oh, Sakan. <laughs> Why did they name him Sakan? <laughs> My name is Sakan. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this one does not understand. No. <laughs> Oh, Sakan, I don't understand why you named them Sakan. <laughs> that, that moment when he said, my name is Sakan, he's supposed to say, that, that I was expecting the children to be like, Sakan, who are you? Sakan this. And then he runs away. <laughs> oh my god. I was expecting him to troll the children. Oh, shit. He was too nice, man. <laughs> He was too nice. He didn't troll the children. My God, Sakan, why do you have that name? <laughs> this one does not understand. No. Ay, ay, ay. It's a good episode. I mean, it's a good uh, mini series. I love it. Oh no, Sakan. Okay, are there more? Is there more we could watch? 7.5 out of 10. Dude. Uh, this series? 7.5 out of 10? Meanwhile, Astartes is like 9.3. Oof! That's gotta hurt. Dude. That's gotta hurt. It says right here it's 9.3 stars. And the one that they actually released is 7.5. Raw. Raw, dude. Raw. Angels of Death. Oh. What's this? Oh, there's, there's stuff in it. It's it has episodes. Oh, <gasps> uh oh, we should watch this next. Blood angels, dude. We should watch this next. Blood and duty, blood and duty. What's the rating for this? Seven point seven. I mean, it's higher than Pariah Nexus. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, we should watch this. How many episodes are there? There's 10 episodes. Oh my god. I need this. Hmm. I wanna watch it. Angels of Death are great. They fight gene stealers. Oh, gene stealers. No, uh, no stealing for you. Oh, dude. I wanna watch it. I wanna watch it. Look at this bald man. Oh, <laughs> Also, I remember when we were watching um, Hammer and Boulder, there's at least one bald person in each episode. Did you guys know this? I should have counted how many bald people were shown on Hammer and Boulder. <laughs> bald counter? I need a bald counter for this. Oh my god. The bald counter just keeps going up the more you watch Warhammer. Oh! Yes. <laughs> Watch it, yes. Hammer and Balder. I got him, Hammer and Balder. That's true. Where's the vote of Hammer and Balder Watch? Oh, I didn't watch it on stream. I don't think I could watch it on stream. Isn't it like a, a, a copyright thing? I don't know. I don't think I could watch it on stream. I watch it off stream. I, I, I'm just discussing... Uh, what I think so far. Dorks were terrified of blood angels so when what? I cannot read that part. The heart is in the way. When they are thirsty. Thirsty I used to play small force, casual for the K. Those were the good times. Watch Blood, Blood Angels, you will like this one. Ooh, yes. Oh, hello, by the way, I didn't say hello yet to the new people. Hello, Hasten. Brother, Daniel. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? 
I was just talking about the what we watched recently. So what we watched were Hammer and Bolter, Iron Within, and Paraya Nexus. So far, the one I like most would be... I mean... I, I, I really like Hammer and Bolter. It's pretty cool. I like it. Especially it has that episode with the Mechanicus. That's why I really like it. But in terms of animation, Iron Within has really good animation. And also Paraya Nexus has really good animation. Animation-wise, these two are better than like Hammer and Boulder. Maybe they have more time with this one. I don't know. Oh, it says 2003 to something. I wonder if they're gonna make more episodes for this. Mm -hmm. 